Welcome everyone to part 6 of our Python basics tutorial. In this tutorial I will talk about Python lists, tuples and dictionaries and what are the differences between them. Sometimes people are confused about tuples and lists due to their similarities, but in fact these two structures are substantially different, so in this tutorial we will show that. I will begin with lists. So a list contains items separated by commas and enclosed it with square brackets. Square brackets look like this. And lists are similar to arrays in C language. One difference between them is that all the items belonging to a list can be of different data type. The values stored in a list can be accessed using a slice operators. For example, they are the same like this and this. With indexes starting at 0 in the beginning of the list and working their way to the end. As we already mentioned in previous tutorial, the plus sign is the list concatenation operator and the asterisk is the repetition operator. Uh, they also can be used in the list as before. So here's the first example. I made uh, two lists, one is with five elements and second is with two elements. And I will print all of them. And, and here's an output. As you can see, at first line we printed all the first list with five elements. And second line we printed, printed only the first element from the this longer list. At third line we printed only the second and third element, it is 777 and 1.11. Uh, next line we printed only uh, three elements beginning from the third character. Uh, next line, we printed a tinier list, but we multiplied it by 2, so we can see that this is uh, twice as long. And in the last line, we we added the tiny list to the longer list. So as you can see, it worked, worked just perfect. So that, that's it with lists, let's move on tuples. Python tuple is another sequence data type that is similar to the list. A tuple consists of number of values separated by commas. Unlike lists, however, tuples are enclosed with parentheses. The main difference between lists and tuples are lists are enclosed by brackets, I mean brackets, and their elements and size can be changed, while tuples are enclosed in parentheses. And cannot be updated or changed. Tuples can be thought as the read-only lists. As you can see, I already made the example. It's exactly the same as it was before. The main difference is that it uses not the square brackets, but we use the enclosed brackets. And here is tuple and tiny tuple with exactly the same co components inside the, the tuple. If I build it and print, you can output is exactly the same, but as I told you before, the main difference it shouldn't allow us to update the tuple. So tuple, for example, element two, so we want to change it equal to two hundred, and we try to build it. So, as you can see, try's object does not support item assignment. Here's the main differences. So, let's move to dictionaries. Python dictionaries are data structures that are very similar to associative arrays. They are not ordered and contain keys and values. A dictionary key can be almost any Python type, but are usually numbers or strings. Values, on the other hand, can be any arbitrary Python object. So here is the dictionary example already made. Uh, dictionaries are defined by curly braces. And values can be assigned and as as accessed using square braces. So as you can see here, we created a dictionary. And here we wrote a dictionary first and number two. Here we create tiny dict with three elements, three keys and three values. As you can see, name, code and hobby 
with Tom6434 and reading. And here we printed all the two dictionary and tiny dictionary. Here is printed only the keys and values. So let's print it out. And as you can see, here was printed full tiny dictionary, and here printed only the dictionary keys and values. So, for example, if, if we would like to add something to dictionary, we would write uh, tiny dict. We choose the key we would like to update or create it's city, for example, and we create London. And of course, we need to print this out. And do this. As you can see, the tiny dictionary is longer right now. It has city London. And if we'd like to delete something from dictionary, we we write delete tiny dictionary, and we choose uh, what we like to delete. So, for example, we like to delete code, and repeat the print function. No, you see, as you can see, it was deleted. Well, with, with, with dictionary, we can make a group of people dictionary with their ages and living city, for example. So, I will copy this example from other place, not to write it by hand. And I'll make it look prettier, like this. It's a full dictionary. I'll print two, two components of this dictionary. So it will be, for example, Kevin and Bob. So here was printed full dictionary about Kevin. It was his age and living city. And about Bob, we only print cho chose to print only the living city. It's California. So that's it with dictionaries. And all in all, we covered also lists and tuples. I hope that this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in comment section below this video. If you liked it, smash up the likes button and subscribe my channel, then you will get more of my videos. Text version of this tutorial and links are left in video subscription. Thank you all for watching, good luck and see you in the next video.